Hello, our regular weekly updates about AI, November 8th, Friday. And this week we had election and we had a lot of news, although uh, some people think it's a quiet week, but <laughs> I have a lot of updates. So first, of course, uh, about election. And uh, because uh, may maybe you know that uh, both uh, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg were absolutely not included in uh, like uh, previous uh, AI structures for uh, administration. But now with this new uh, president, uh, situation probably will uh, change completely, right? It was really unfair to Elon Musk that he was not included because he was the one who was talking about AI safety. That's uh, why uh, OpenAI was created in the first place. Uh, it, it was actually his idea. He donated, you see, 119 million to uh, political action. He actively participated himself. And now as uh, Trump uh, will become president, uh, well, it's pretty obvious that Elon Musk will get uh, a lot of decision power, uh, advising power. And uh, also uh, Mark Zuckerberg, who is a huge open AI uh, leader. Uh, so we, we will see a lot of change. Uh, this is uh, for AI, for open source AI. Uh, so this is, I guess, good. Uh, what the election results mean for emerging tech, uh, deregulation across multiple sectors, particularly biotech, space AI, cryptocurrencies, re reducing government overreach, a speed of technological change, forward thinking policy. We will see, but that's what uh, people are talking about. Um, open AI uh, plans uh, for 2025. So it's interesting. So there was a interview, a conversation in depth uh, with uh, Sam Altman and uh, Reddit. Um, Sam Altman is one of uh, Reddit's uh, investors. Uh, he actually has his hands, like is everywhere, like more than 125 uh, companies he invested in, actually much more uh, because he was the leading Y Combinator. Um, but uh, here is the list of uh, things uh, to expect. Uh, yeah, he, he gets 8.7% uh, stake in Reddit, and Reddit is uh, a public company. Uh, went public uh, earlier this year, market cap is about 20 billion, and so on. So he's, uh, he reveals the plans for OpenAI. So this is the YouTube video you can watch. AGI is achievable with current hardware. That's his opinion. O1 uh, model, which uh, we're expecting to be released next month, is significant improvement over the preview, O1 preview. You see 10, 15% better benchmarks. OpenAI will continue scaling LLMs improve inference time uh, using both uh, bigger and smaller models, depending on query. Hallucinations still remain a challenge. Well, just to remind you, hallucination is what those models do. They hallucinate. <laughs> so you cannot completely remove it, ever. Um, agents, uh, next major investment, uh, in the advancement in their product uh, line. So next year will be year of agents. Adaptability and continuous uh, crucial skills for success. And uh, Ilya Sutskever, you know, he um, left OpenAI, created his own company, got billion dollars. And, uh, but he had this vision, which actually shaping what OpenAI is working on right now. Uh, advanced voice mode delayed, uh, next uh, text image models, 3D model generation coming, and uh, so on. Anyway, uh, uh, more news. Uh, uh, comparing three open source coding models, DeepC coder, Yi coder, and Quen uh, 2.5 coder. So Yi and Quen are uh, from China, and uh, you can run all of them locally using a llama. And surprisingly, the smallest one, which is Quen 2.5 coder, actually wins. And because it's smaller, it's also faster. So this is the YouTube video with Matthew Berman where he does the testing. He is also investor in the LM Studio, so he always using LM Studio. We, uh, <laughs> in our work, use uh, Olama. Well, they are interchangeable. Uh, Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, had several presentations where he spoke about the future. And by the way, NVIDIA again um, uh, became biggest company in the world, bigger than Apple. So they're going back and forth. Uh, 
but NVIDIA is default platform uh, with their GPUs and tools for AI. Uh, so he was talking about autonomous uh, AI agents that they will become prevalent next year and physical AI, uh, AI interacting with physical world uh, humanoid robots. So very interesting. Okay, uh, geometric structures in the LLM learned concepts. So uh, this is the work which explains how the knowledge um, actually is stored in neural network. And they identify the areas inside the network uh, for code math, for general language, and for dialogue. Again, very interesting. You know that a human brain uh, also consists of different lobes, different regions with different functionality. So this is parallelism. Google has changed their ranking algorithm. And this may be not so much about AI, but before they were giving a high priority to well-known sites. Now they change the algorithm so that they give high priority to sites which specializes in particular question which you're asking about. So some bigger websites uh, are not happy. Uh, <laughs> but the specific niche sites uh, now will have uh, better visibility. Um, Anthropic Claude uh, Haiku model. So uh, Haiku model was the fastest, the cheapest, and uh, the smallest of the three. So it was uh, Opus, Sonnet, and Haiku. So they upgraded it. Now it became much better. Uh, it's even better than the previous largest model they have, which was Opus. But the price, they increased the price like four times more. Well, the mo model became much better, right? So it's more expensive than the previous version, also even more expensive than GPT-4 Mini and Gemini 1.5 Flash. So yeah, uh, we have quality model. Uh, physical intelligence, it's a San Francisco-based startup, raised uh, 400 million, 2.4 billion valuation. So uh, they're creating adaptable robots which unlike a single task robot can do uh, various things, uh, can adapt. So for example, laundry, dishes, other household uh, chores, uh, developed a generalist AI policy for robots similar to GPT in its potential impact. So this is a very, very important company. Altera AI is working on AI agents that can form meaningful social relationships and develop their own cultures. The piano architecture allows agents to think and act concurrently over multiple timescales, consciously and subconsciously. In a Minecraft sandbox, these agents have shown ability to form friendships, rivalries, and even develop their own laws and religions. Oh gosh. Uh, Disney embraces AI, uh, puts it everywhere. Augmented reality, virtual reality, technologies, various divisions, theme par parks, and so on. Uh, United Arab Emirates energy giant, uh, uh, they are now partnering um, with other companies, including Microsoft, in utilizing AI in energy sector uh, to accelerate seismic surveys. Toyota and NTT invest billions in AI for driver assistance. AI Avatar Live provides support and guidance to Alzheimer's patients personalized advice, answered questions based on real life experience of others with the same con condition. A Pi Zero, new AI model for robotics, integrates vision, language, and motor commands, allowing robots to see, understand, and act based on their perception. It is trained on 10,000 hours of data from various robot setups, so it can read text prompts, execute tasks, so you can tell it, clean up the table, fold clothes, back, pack groceries, grind coffee beans and so on combines expertise from google and stanford researchers wow this is good uh, next is well a lot of smaller well not smaller but just i don't know so many yi yi lightning is a model from o1.ai this is from china what's interesting about this model it is better than chat gpt4 and it's 500 times cheaper it just shows the progress uh, China's AI training systems are three to five times larger than those used in the US. Uh, so, yeah, and they also have more publications, just more people, more resources devoted to AI. 
open ai is delaying new products due to lack of compute they have this complicated relationship with microsoft uh, so recently they signed a deal with oracle maybe they'll get more compute ai addiction ai displacement of human workers well first presentation was about kind of this uh, I will not go into this. 25% uh, of code being written by Google engineers is now written in AI. Well, maybe more uh, because this is more for investors. Uh, of course, if you're using some tool which using AI and you start typing and then you just do tab completion and AI writes code for you, you can very easily get like half of the code written. But actually you are writing and AI just uh, completes, right? So this number actually means nothing. Meta uh, now works on robots that can feel the touch. Well, many robots now have this uh, touch feeling. Etched and Descartes AI created Minecraft game entirely using diffusion models. No programming. Recraft text to image model, topping the leaderboards. ChatGPT now lets you search uh, through the chat history. Okay, uh, Alama can run vision models. So Alama is our favorite and you can download, uh, for example, uh, Meta uh, Llama 3.2 and Vision and they have 11 billion and 90 billion and you can ask the question and provide the location of image or images. Like here, for example, you see, describe this image and then you give the path to the image and it uh, analyzes the image, actually reads it in and tells you about this image. So it's optimized for visual recognition, image reasoning, captioning, answering general questions about an image. Uh, By Dance's X Portrait 2, Portrait Animation. This is hilarious. So let, let, let me show it. It will take some time to load, but this is like absolutely um, amazing. Uh, I don't know which one will load faster here for example okay we have some faces and uh, okay this looks real this is not interesting uh, okay <laughs> oh th th this is definitely not real you see the face you see the emotions <laughs> and of course it's uh, it's uh, every, everything he, he is gen generated of course so yeah uh, OpenAI has acquired chat.com domain name for more than $15 million. Uh, Anthropic now partnership with Palantir, uh, which means uh, work for government, work for intelligence and defense industry. Uh, Meta and OpenAI um, are also doing work in this direction. NVIDIA Isaac Lab Framework, open source tools for training robots at scale. Uh, remember what uh, NVIDIA CEO said about robots, so they're actively working on that mechanical, like moving in real physical world AI. Google Learn About platform. I really like it. I tried it. So um, you can ask questions about everything. So, for example, I want to know about Rust programming, right, because this is something I'm uh, learning recently. And it starts answering you and... Uh, give you what is rust what it's known for and so on and then uh, continues continues and you can ask more more questions it, it's a really really uh, good platform H highly recommend to try so it's a learning.google.com okay uh next uh yes this so we have francois collet who is a famous uh uh, the developer he now works at Google and he uh, created Arc Prize. Uh, this is um, well a set of uh, data samples um, which uh, used to test models on their ability to find patterns uh, to reason. And this is not large language models. It's a, it requires different kind of models, and there are multiple. Uh, people, companies participating in this uh, co uh, competition, which will pay, uh, I believe, more than a million dollars for somebody who will achieve, uh, what is this, the score which is required, 85%. So the latest achievement 
is 55 percent which is uh, very high for this scale uh, and they don't disclose like how they achieved it but they use techniques like neurosymbolic ai system to reasoning program synthesis evolutionary algorithms so it's not regular transformer llms uh, digital smell <laughs> yeah this this is great so um, this this company what they do they use ai they use uh, algorithms like, you know recently there was a lot of algorithms working with proteins and um, predicting their structure and uh, um, analyzing predicting and what they can do they can take the smell <laughs> analyze it and then pass this information to let's say another geographical location where you can synthesize the same smell really really interesting okay uh, microsoft magnetic one so this is a multi-agent ai system and uh, it composed of multiple uh, agents with unique functions and they can work together or they can work uh, one by one so you have uh, agents to work with web uh, with files with code a terminal and orchestration uh, all together and they're using autogen which is open source framework from uh, microsoft which was released about a year ago so it, it's a very good system and uh, yes and it integrates m multiple llms capable of performing complex multi-step tasks uh, and uh, it's comparable with other multi-agent systems like an OpenAI Swarm, IBM's B agent framework, and so on. So here's the link. You can read about it. Uh, next is uh, about Tesla. Uh, there are several things. Well, uh, Elon Musk has announced uh, a tablet, and he also announced the computer. And it's kind of like a Chromebook, I guess, uh, because uh, it relies on their cloud. Uh, it is very inexpensive, $100. It's like hard to believe. Uh, the way they achieve it, they have their own chips, they have their own everything, their own hardware, and uh, their own uh, lightweight operating system, cloud-first approach. So in, it integrates with their cloud, so you have to have a paid monthly subscription to use that. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's very interesting, but apparently for many people, it will be much better solution and cheaper solution than buying an expensive computer. Uh, another thing is a company, Xpeng, uh, which is uh, China, right? And they uh, created a robot called Iron, the humanoid ro robot. And uh, this robot actually already is working on their factory, assisting in assembling electric vehicles. So they produce cars, electric cars. So it has custom built Turing AI chip and they uh, plan to mass produce this robot not only for factory work but also for retail offices and homes uh, so really interesting uh, okay we close to the end uh, so this is a leaderboard uh, arena for english queries and for coding so this is for english it looks about the same as it was uh, last week so we see open ai dominating and then we have some uh, Yi, which is China, Grok, which is XAI, which is Twitter, which is Elon Musk, Gemini, Google. Then we have Llama, Meta, several positions, OpenAI again, Claude, and, and so on. You, you can see. So this is for English only queries, and this is for coding. So the best, according to this leaderboard, is uh, OpenAI and uh, then goes Claude. I actually use Claude a lot. I don't use uh, like, oh, and, and I use Gemini. And the reason why I use Gemini is because uh, Gemini is Google and it knows about all the updates to software libraries. Uh, so I use mostly combination of uh, Claude and uh, Gemini. And uh, what do we have um, about layoffs? Well, the situation is about the same. If you compare pre this year and this year, number of layoffs is much smaller but at the same time the the job market is uh, not as strong and the salaries are not as high as they were last year okay this is me and thank you